not making much progress right now. The land, the ground's really dry. So every time I pick this auger up, half the dirt falls out. And it's really tough to dig through right now. So it'll just be slow going for a couple more feet. So we're starting to hit some sand. Uh, I've been digging through, there's about a foot, foot and a half of topsoil, I guess, and then there's a lighter um, color of like sand and clay. So I want to point out what's going on here because we're down about maybe 11 feet. And you can see water down there. But I also noticed that some of the walls are like the wall is leaking water so you probably just saw a little clump of the wall fall off there uh, yeah see it's fun it, the walls are caving in so now is about the time we want to start driving our well point because if I just keep digging with this auger my hole is going to keep collapsing on itself because I've hit the water table which is pretty cool pretty exciting that's where we want to be I've got 13 foot pipe with 10 feet of drive pipe and a 3 foot well point. So we're going to get started with this. Alright, we're going to drive this a couple feet until the well point is submerged. And then we're going to do a test with our pitcher pump to see how the water flow looks and see if we need to drive it in further. The trick here was to stop driving around 13 to 15 feet because below that it's just clay. But I've kind of hit the sweet spot here with this around 13 feet or so and it turns out this depth produced really good results for me. So here I'm going to just hook up a small pump to test out the water flow. This is the same pump I used in my other video about the rain barrel to uh, pressurize the rain barrel output. I'm just repurposing this same pump. I'm putting thread seal on the threads on this inch and a quarter pipe. I've got an inch and a quarter to three quarter reducing coupler and uh, hose with some hose clamps that I'm essentially using as an adapter from this inch and a quarter pipe to the one half inch uh, inlet port on this small pump. So we're going to connect all this up and then uh, plug the pump in and see what kind of water we get out of it. It's uh, really brown, but we are getting water. So I filled up one five gallon bucket. The water keeps getting a little bit clearer. So I'm gonna run this a little more before I drive it down further. This is pretty good. I mean, I've got this little tiny pump here and the pump is maxing out. So I could probably get even more water if I had a stronger pump. Water is ice cold. Awesome. This is late July. 
the water in my house isn't this cold. Feels amazing. This pump's getting really hot, so I'm gonna turn it off after I fill up this bucket. So I've got another maybe six feet. Um, before I reach my shed and then my pump housing is going to go right there and I'm going to put uh, some holes in through that wall to put the pipe through connect it up to the heat exchanger and hopefully have uh, some air conditioning in my shed I've got an inch and a quarter to a one inch barbed coupling my poly pipe is one inch in diameter and my well pipe is an inch and a quarter so just need an adapter for that and then i've got to soften up the poly pipe with this torch in order to get it onto the barbed fitting Once the poly pipe is softened up, then it will slide right on the barbed end of your coupling. And then I've got two pipe clamps or hose cl clamps here uh, on the end of this that I'll uh, tighten up in opposite directions. In the same way we did over at the well, where we had to go from inch and a quarter to one inch poly pipe, we're doing the same thing here, but in reverse. The jet pump has an inch and a quarter inlet, and uh, we've got to connect our poly pipe that goes through the trench uh, up to the inch and a quarter intake. So we've got to soften it up with the torch and do the same deal again. Alright, let me walk through my plan here. I'm gonna wire up this outlet switch combination thing. Uh, I'm gonna mount the box on the wall right about here so that I can have a switch that controls electricity to my uh, well pump. And then also I'm going to have a box fan blowing through these two radiators. So I'm going to kind of sandwich this box fan with these. And that way, I'm going to have cold well water being pumped through the wall here with my jet pump. The water will 
flow through these, and the uh, fan blowing air through these will have the effect of a heat pump. So the purpose of the heat pump is to transfer heat that's, you know, in my shed here uh, into the water. And then I'll have a, an outlet on the other side where the water will, will flow out. So that's a quick summary of what we're going to We've got the shed wired up. Now I just need to connect the other end of the wire to the pressure switch attached to our pump. Water's really cold, so we should be able to make this work. 